your game predictions for this first match. Use hashtag EDG win or hashtag Esk. This lane of float. Top lane turret's already gone. SKT have built the freeze, but a dragon will come through for Edward Gaming. So I'm normally never a fan of taking a dragon this early in a lane swap because I think the tempo of which you can now swap back really gets slowed down so much. Your tower is not dead yet, so by the time it becomes so much more difficult for you to get those five oh, dragons. Oh, Baker. Well, shield comes up for Pond. They're going to go for the play. There's the jump in, and oh, man! It took him 11 minutes, but Edward Gaming first. SKT are at least going to try. Mars so far, heading down, start. and Faker has teleport when he revives in five seconds. There's wards right on EG. They're not going to give this one up. Amazing J is going to have to join the team, I think. There's the ulti in for Wolf. TP in, but down goes the support. Edward Gaming 2-0 to start, but now Clearlook is attacked. That's a trade kill back in Pond. Now stuck on top of the dragon. Faker gets his first kill of the game, and then still trades back in fourth, but EDG are routed. Three dead so far. The dunk, it's going to make Bane please. He's not going to survive it, but SKT gets more kills, and they get the death here. Faker's going to cut him off. He wants some farm. All right, the two solo laners. Here comes the teleport from Amazing J. No, it's going to be Pond, but Death's already dead. Marin has Aga, but he's not taking any damage. Pond tries to set up the stun. He will not catch Faker, thanks to the flash. A bit of damage on Amarin, but can he really do much more than this one? down instantly. It's easy for Marin to push down the top lane, and again, the top side of the map just belongs to SK Telecom. Uh-oh. So much damage. Yeah, Marin trying to chunk him down. He's got a lot of damage this one. A couple more spells will do it. There's the hit, and wow, the solo kill. Marin chasing down a... SKT on the red side here really showed some very, very smart picks, and maybe EDG getting punished for showing Darius so early in the draft, really putting a lot of priority for Amazing J on it. He's played it every single game here yeah. at World. Two minutes, it's gonna be there. And I like this move here from SK Telecom. Take, just play, push it down to the oh, there it is. Flash and death with the room pressing. Oh, the Q lands, and that's gonna be the kill. Oh, not needed. Faker picks up the seventh kill of the game. Bresk. We're just gonna take Baron. Marin is running interference here, keeping everybody from even getting close to the Baron, and SKT easily gonna burn that down. Perfectly done. They kept vision control for the last minute. W animation, which is so common. Uh, four high-level Renekton players there. You pop it after the W. Of course, uncontestable. SKT just completely briefly sort of gloss over it. Uh-oh. It uh -oh. looks like uh, Bengi here kind of work on some true sight, and Faker goes in. Finds Clearlove and a ton of damage right away. They try to burst him back out, but Faker's totally safe. Clearlove running away as fast as he can, but it's not good for Pond in the mid lane. He's getting a lot of damage on him. A knockout comes back through thanks to Maker, but look how little damage Marin is taking. The Echo finally falls. It's a one for zero. SKT had to work for it. No, he nearly pulls in Bengi. He didn't have a lot of support near him, but would have been a bit of an effort. But here comes the push back in. Maker with the front lines will get pulled back, but now Pond is alone in front of the enemy team is going to ultra run away. Marin still tanking up in the front line. Shield. Amazing J. Now the sole tank in this one. And it's a little bit of knockouts coming through. Faker not getting attacked. Big shields, but he's going to go down. Deft is still alive in the background. And Bangy's going to be next. But there's still damage coming through from Marin. Pod will drop down, and it's a two Whoa. for one. The chase can continue. Marin's not far. He smells blood. Yeah, he's got no flash, though, and chasing a Kalista, <laughs> very frustrating. There's Doesn't a wave coming. EE e into Q, summoning he'll use for the movement speed. Death will get away, but it's a three. SK Telecom, no threat and no real way for EDG to, like, rush a Baron and maybe try and trade it. There's already war that they're missing here. Death was able to kite very effectively during that and get off a lot himself, but we're back into the action. And it's already a knockout coming through. Wolf now retreating to keep himself alive, and a big knockout from Bangy means more is going to happen there. Marin absorbing in the front line. Mako's going to be the target there. Quickly picked up. The dunk doesn't mean much here, and there we go. Amazing Jade just can't get enough the damage. Shield. Baker survives. Pond gets a single kill, but it's a two for one yet again. Pawn on the run, getting yeah. away from Bangi. Even though Death and Pawn survived, both of them extremely low, and they just have to go back. Well, Pawn will get himself a shield. That'll block some more damage, but Baron Nasher has gone down. No smite needed. SKT would push the advantage over and over. And Severe buffing them up, they're going in. And there we go. Death's going to get cleansed, but it's not going to be nearly enough. Baker picks up the kill. Mako's next easily. And there's really not much that Amazing Jade's going to do on this one. Pawn pops yieldy for a bit of damage. Zone needs to buy some time. But who even cares anymore? SK Telecom T1 barely take any damage as they ace Edward Gaming. It's just a formality now for the Nexus. That's going to do it. 3 0 start to the World Championship. SKT undaunted take down Edward Gaming. We had one big team fight where it looked like EDG maybe could come back.
I even thought the echo got into the back line with his ulti, but it was just him stunning him, so there was no damage, and that was really the story here for EDG. Once they fell behind, they never even had enough damage to kill the front line of SK Telecom, and it bought so much time for Faker and Bang to just safely sit there, and even Marion, of course, with this Renekton being a monster and just taking out two or three guys every time. EDG yeah. very clearly focusing heavily on the Dragon, as you mentioned, giving up a lot for it in the lane swap, and then after the kill on Faker, rushing over to it even though Faker had his teleport up and the death timer so short in that period of the game. Yeah. SK2 were able to swing it back in that moment. There were basically two Dragon Calls, level one or level yep. two in the lane swap, and then the one you mentioned, but we saw both teams go for the western lane swap in the start with fast pushing the lanes, you know, divide them